I'm at Super Judge now. Today is Friday. Praise God. Hey, it's the first Friday in the month of November. Whoa, praise God. Let me tell you this. If you've been following everything I've been sharing with you so far, then with understanding and acting on it, you should begin to expect a miracle. This is very, listen, there is no one that God will bless that there will not be a giving. Trust me, no one. Oh God, bless me. Say, give. I don't have anything to give. See, that's what I told you first of all. Go get something. And before going to the broadcast, hey, let's ask for our daily bread. Praise God. Father, say it with me. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And Father, we honor you today, Lord. We put our hearts to receive every good word from you. And let your name be glorified on the earth today. Let Jesus be magnified. That he, he let, let, let the world see your loving kindness, even in Christ. In Jesus' name. I declare every burning right now is lifted, yokes destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now, I said, you should start seeing a blessing. You should start receiving miracles. And I told you yesterday, if you, number one, get a job, get an honest job, get an honest pay, get, get something doing, just whatever it is, just start, just start. See, just start. And get an honest job, get paid, take your seat, which right now is your tithe. Listen, when, when, when you start out with your tithe, then you grow into maturity. You get to that place where you, you now understand that truly, not just in mouth, everything you own belongs to God. You get to that point. But this is the baseline. Start from here. Don't do what you, you have not train yourself for. You know, you get into trouble. So I'm saying somebody came to church and shared the testimony. I sold his house right. And in two days, God blessed him. Ah, I said, me too, I'm going to sow my house. You may not get that mirror. Your landlord may come and chase you out. Why? You see, the difference is this. Number one, the person who shared the testimony, you don't know the dealings of God with that person. You don't know. And you don't even know the reason God says, so your house rent. You don't know. So what should you gain from that kind of testimony? He said, God told him. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Let me go before the Lord. Say, Lord, that brother said you told him to sell his house rent. Lord, what would you tell me to do? And wait. Because sometimes it happens like someone jumps at it and then says, hmm. I, I, I sure those testimonies they share they are real because I tried it to uh, if I if you know what I suffered, if you know what I went through. And neither should you allow anyone to manipulate you into giving. No, that's wrong. See, the moment manipulation is involved, the moment um, someone has to coerce you into giving, now there's the difference. See, God can. God can command a, a, your pastor, for example, and you know, say, take an offering from the people. Yes, God, God can command it. And then he will just simply do what God has commanded him to do and leave you to yourself. He, it is wrong for him to say, hmm, only, only 10 people have given. The rest of you, what are you doing? You must come and give. You must come. No, it's still, even God will not force you. He won't, he won't force you to do that. He will tell you his word. Like he says, I put before you life and death, blessing and cousin. Choose life that you may leave. He will tell you what to do, but he will never force you to do it. 
So it's the same thing. You take that tithe. I say, Lord. I was going to say, eh, not, 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 not sweet. Anybody who's still struggling after, with tithing after what I've shared, you're on your own. Just go deal with the Lord. See? Go deal with the Lord. Now, you obey the Lord. And then, listen to me. Now, whether you have a job or you don't have a job, whether you're into business or you're not into business, this, what I'm telling you is very important. The moment you begin to give to the Lord this way, and you begin to receive instructions from the Lord, then, see, understand this. You are now part of a system that is eternal. You are part of a system that will transcend you. You are part of a system that will live beyond you. And that also means your life has gone beyond what you have. I said we're walking, we're talking about walking in financial, spiritual financial intelligence. You at the moment you confirm that God have received tithe from you. It means, number one, he accepts your person. It's not everybody God will receive tithe from. You can't steal and bring the tithe before God and say, you know, say the church will receive it. Take your time and go and give it. We tell the pastor, pastor, this is my tithe. The pastor may receive it, except he hears from the Spirit of God telling him, don't do it. But you see, what I'm sharing with you, it's not just the giving now. When you give, it is so important that you are assured that your giving has been received by the Lord, not by the pastor, not by the church. Because the moment God receives it, the moment you know God has received it, now then you know you are part of a system that is bigger than your job. So you may be earning 10,000 Naira every month and you give your tithe of 1,000 Naira and God instructs you on what to do with it. Listen, listen, listen. Hala breke neke zuprom ne shembran dahakatiya. Now, you want to look at that, that job you do and look at the salary you earn. You know that this salary cannot even pay my transport every day to work. Yes, but it's an honest pay. So what do you need now? I need a car. You know what the mistake you make? Oh Lord, give me a better job because I need a car. You don't need another job before you can get a car. <laughs> you don't. You don't. Wrong mindset. You don't. Uh, but even if God gives me the car, how can I sustain it? Listen to me. You don't need another job because you need a car. You need to buy a car. No. Or you need to sustain the car. No. What you need is to develop the capacity of your heart. And how do you develop the capacity of how good are you with your obedience to the Lord? That's all you need. See, because the same way you took out that 1,000 naira as your tithe and say, Father, I have got your tithe. You know, I'll honor you with it. So who should I give this to? And the Lord says, give it to a social so person. Give it to your colleague at work. And I say, oh, really? Okay. And then you just take it and put it in an envelope. Always learn to give nice. Give, give with honor. When you're giving to people, give them with honor. Don't frustrate people. Don't tell somebody to pay 500 naira transport to come and receive 2,000 naira, naira from you. No, you can transfer that money to that person straight on with ease. So God says, give, give the 1,000 to your colleague. Okay, thank you, Lord. Get a nice envelope. Put it inside. Because your character must show honor because you are about to begin to receive honor from other people. So you, first of all, start giving the honor, not just to God now, to men. And then you put it in that nice envelope, and then you go to the person and say, hey, how are you doing? 
I, I was just praying this morning. The Lord said I should give you this. Oh, really? Thank you. I said, oh, wow. Do you know I didn't have transport to go home today? This, this is just what God answered. Wow. God loves you, man. That's what he said. He loves you. And that means God loves me too. Because he won't send someone he doesn't love. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah. Because we're in an environment of love. Whoa, God loves us. You've obeyed now, right? That's your obedience is a seed that you have sown to the heavens. That obedience. God told you to give someone 1,000 naira. You obeyed without grumbling. Listen to me. It's the same way. God will command someone to give a car to you. Can you receive that? Someone will just walk up to you and say, I, I was praying last night and God said I should come and give you this car. Yeah. Yeah. Because you obeyed. The person too will obey where you're concerned. That's why you don't drag your feet. You obey immediately. You're sure this is the Lord. Now you can confirm all you want. But don't confirm to the point that you're walking in, in, in unbelief now. And wow. Wow. And then while you're receiving the car, someone else is coming to you and said, you know why you're celebrating? So wow, see what God did. See what God did. And, and someone comes to you and said, I, I don't know, but God says for the next two months, I should be giving you 5,000 5, every day to fill your car. To fuel your car. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what I'm sharing with you is not strange. There are people who have these testimonies. <sighs> How do you calculate that with your 10,000 naira job? Do the calculation. Now, God can move you from that job to something better. That's his choice. But your life, now, now you might be earning a million naira a month or 10 million naira a month. Don't, the moment you are doing this, don't live your life based on what you earn. Doesn't matter how much you earn. Don't live your life based on what you earn. Get into something bigger. You can buy a car yourself with your one month salary. It's not a problem. Okay. What about the kingdom of God? What about the kids? Start thinking something bigger than you. Think of something bigger than you, not just for yourself now. You, you're fine. You can buy any car you want to buy today. Okay, goody. Some other person needs a car. Some other pastor needs a car. A ministry needs a boss. This, are you getting what I'm saying? Go beyond what you earn because your life must be a life of faith. And you begin to pray. It will cross your mind. Don't just jump and do it. No, Lord. Lord has been coming to my spirit to, to, to buy a bus for that church. Or for that ministry. For the evangelistic work. Lord has been coming to my mind to buy equipment for, for that pastor. Oh, Lord, would you permit me to do it? And wait. You see, every giving you give, you need to be sure that God's stamp of approval is on it. It's not about the person. It's about you, your own faith. So that when Satan attacks you, you will remember that stamp of approval. And you, you just keep flowing and flowing and flowing. Brothers and sisters, that is how we will bring the kingdom of God to fill the whole earth. He says, the earth shall be filled with the glory of the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Every family receiving evidence that God sent someone to me. God sent someone to us. Someone came and said, God said he should do this for us. Someone said, hey, hey, this is how we bring to pass the blessing of God and the blessing of Abraham. It fills the whole earth. You are part of it. Now you are God's hand of blessing 
to fulfill what he promised Abraham. And then also you will receive from him. This thing, he will begin to make you your own promise. He will begin to talk to you about your family. He will begin to give you promise and prophecies that is beyond you, just like he did to Abraham. Listen to me. Next thing you, that's very important, and, and I'm close with this. Begin to document the things that God is doing in your life. It's very important you do this. Have, get a diary and begin to document your testimonies. Begin to document it. You know what you're doing? You're writing your own scriptures. Yeah. You're writing your own scriptures. And some other time we'll talk about how this works, you know, writing your scriptures and how to use your scriptures. Praise God. Our time is up. Hallelujah. Now, except the Lord tells me to continue on this next week. I think we, we I know there's still a lot. But listen, go practice this that I've shared with you and come back with a testimony. Praise God. I love you so much. You know, it's because of the love of God that I have to share these things with you. And may the Lord expand your heart and make you understand his ways. May the Lord cause your eyes to see. And may you function fully in the blessing of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have the best weekend ever. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.